Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, who is this breathing into the phone? Hey, it's me, Scott. Um, Skull on three is my uh, username. Oh, hey. Um, I was wondering, I was getting into programming because I want to get into game development, and I was wondering what programming language I should probably start with. Game development? Well, you might start with something simple. And I would actually recommend going and downloading probably Visual Studio, uh, or the, the one that you can get for free. And yes, people are recommending C, Objective-C, C++, um, C Sharp even. And the reason why I'm recommending Visual Studio is you can start developing games uh, for the Xbox. And you can learn that way. And, and that yeah, I saw way. something like that. Um, one of my teachers uh, had something like that. Yeah. And I think that, if you want to really dive into it, it would be a, a, a one way to go. If you want to learn to walk before you run, Visual Studio, I think, does a, a, fa a fantastic job. Some people are surprised uh, that, uh, oh, there we go. Richie Varr says, also get the XNA Club for 360. Um, yeah, a lot of people are recommending the, the C line, C, C++, C Sharp, etc. Uh, I've never been any kind of developer. Uh, I just go off the recommendations that other people have made and certainly watch the tools that are being released on a regular basis. In fact, I just noticed something in Nick Bradbury's blog, and Nick, he's the, the programmer behind, well, one of the first uh, really, I thought, most usable HTML editors called HomeSite. That was years ago. Of course, it was acquired and disappeared. Then he made Top Style, which is still around. And he also programs Feed Demon, which was acquired by NewsGator and has now been released for free in terms of a news aggregator. And he just recently went to Macworld, and he was saying that he was surprised that the Mac development environment and the tools weren't as, I guess, full-featured as the tools he was used to on Windows. So don't feel like I'm going to be biased and say one platform over the other. Uh, you know. Find the tool that works for you. Uh, talk to other game developers, see what they're saying, and you know, really find something that's going to be comfortable. And I think Visual Studio does a fantastic job at making programming somewhat comfortable uh, in, a, in an environment where you're not just in Notepad, oh God, uh, for programming. Uh, some people would probably recommend VI. <laughs> I wouldn't. Um, Emacs, no, not for me. The... Uh, I think just try and uh, what, whoa, did someone say Joe? I remember using Joe. I used Joe before, I, I think uh, I used Jed, Joe, did I use EE? -E? Oh, that was years ago, man, years ago. Um, yeah, I tried downloading, what is it, Visual Studio Express? I think they just released a new version. I saw a 13-year-old giving a tutorial on YouTube on how to use, or how to create your own web browser in Visual Studio Express. 13 year old! So, and I mean, that, of course, that's that's not game programming, uh, but yeah, you certainly but would want to. I just need to know the basics first, obviously. Right. And that's what I'm saying. If you program uh, specifically, uh, you know, inside uh, the XNA community, they will tell you which tools to use and tools that are largely geared towards uh, developing games. And the Xbox yeah. Live Marketplace is a, an excellent place to test your games, too. No doubt about it. Because um, I was I first got got interested in this because uh, I was I was playing around with the uh, Half Life uh, with the Steam and stuff, and then I found out about the first SDK and I started uh, getting into that a little bit, and then I found out that I can start like um, making my own little basic games if I can yeah. learn how to program, and I thought that would be pretty cool. And figured I want to get into programming as a career, anyways. It's one of those things that you know I know people. It, it's either going to work for you or it's not. Uh, if you if you want to train, sorry, you're breathing into the phone there. Uh, if you're uh, if you want to really grasp programming, once you've mastered logic, uh, then programming should kind of come second hand to you. Uh, so as long as you're good and you have sharp logic skills, I think programming will come easy. Or it, in in theory, it should. Programming is logic. Okay. Um, yeah. Thanks for your uh, your uh, help. It's no problem at all.
Thanks again. Nice speaking to you. Yeah, you, what, was the, what was your handle again in the chat room at live.perillo.com? Huh? Your handle. My, my, my what? Your nickname. Oh, it's Skolin3. Skolin3. Gotcha. Yeah.